So here we are in the Indianapolis airport on a beautiful Monday morning. Um, it is bright and sunny outside. It is cold though. It's uh, what May 16th and it was 30 like 34 degrees this morning but heading down to Orlando for software conference so this week should be uh, a little different than most weeks where I'm on a customer side flights leaving about half an hour here or boarding in about half an hour so we'll get to our gate and uh, head down to Orlando a different uh, Indy 500 racer in the uh, airport today older model but check this out Let's see if I can zoom in on it there those are disc brakes. I think those is a more modern inter invention, but this car has disc brakes. Orlando. Airport's pretty nice. Nice little fountain in the middle. A lot of kids here in the Orlando airport. I wonder why. But let's uh, let's turn around and look at this. Here in Orlando Airport, notice these bamboo, or yeah, I guess it's bamboo, whatever kind of chairs. These are the same chairs that were here when we first brought our son to Disney World. And geez, it has to be 20 years ago now. They've lasted pretty well. I'd, I would have thought something like this in an airport would be gone, but I know they've been here at least 20 years. I view out my hotel room. It's a nice hotel complex, the Rosen. So the weather report may have some showers tonight, but nothing serious. <laughs> it is seriously raining, coming down in sheets. This is the kind of rain that my dad would always call like a cow pissing on a flat rock. It'd be a great time to go to Disney though. I'm talking no crowds. You might think that's funny, but a lot of times when we'd go to Disney World, when it was pouring down rain, we'd be out at the park just for that very reason. There wouldn't be anybody there, and we would get on any ride we wanted to. Yeah, we got wet, but you know what? The hotel has towels, and you can dry off there and then sit in a hot tub and warm up. Paying for a vacation, you might as well use it. I'm not sure you get any wetter standing under the fountain. It's a beautiful morning. Here in Orlando. Much, uh, much improved from last night during that rainstorm. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll actually have a clear day. Little more view of the hotel. What is that? Looks like my wife has driven down here to uh, to see me. I doubt it, but that's basically our car. That's kind of weird. All right. Well, I guess it's time to go down to the conference. I'm running a little late this morning. Slept in. Missed breakfast. But uh, my presentation is this afternoon, so. And at least well rested for it. So let's uh, get finished getting dressed and go on down. Just wondering what the hell kind of party is going on here. 
all these guys are dressed exactly the same. White lounge shirts, Panama hats, and lays. So here we are at uh, Rosen Shingle, Shingle Creek. Rosen Shingle Creek. There's this at uh, the conference. It really is a beautiful hotel. Check this pool out behind me. It's very, very nice. And you can see the hotel there in the background. It's really, really pretty here. Another view of the pool. It's kind of got like a beach. And it's not sand, but it's kind of a beachish walkout going over here. It's a very freeform shape. It's not, you know, boring rectangular pool. A lot of plantings around it. Going on out to the rest of it there. It's really, really nice. I realize I'm staying here under a conference rate. But the price wasn't bad either, so uh, I'd like to see what it is without the conference rate. But it's a nice place. If you want to go to Universal or uh, SeaWorld and not see Shamu, but uh, <laughs> this might be a decent place to stay. And not only are the guys dressed in these, actually, I kind of like the outfits. I was going to say ridiculous outfits, but I could see myself wearing that easily. But the women that are here are dressed in these ridiculous outfits. I don't get that at all, man. It's, it's really, really strange. By the pool, listening to a steel drum band. It's not a bad way to live, man. Not a bad way to live. Maybe travel isn't so bad after all. Especially work travel when you're having somebody else pay for it, huh? Nice. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of seems wrong. A couple of white guys as a steel drum band. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Love the shirts though. Love the shirts. I want one. Wow, that is a really cool cloud formation. And just the hints of the sunset beginning on it. That's really pretty. Sunset's kind of off behind me, I believe. Um, but these clouds are so cool. Here's a view from the hot tub. The fountain and the adult pool back toward the hotel. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot, and I'm going to have to come back out here in a little bit and enjoy this hot tub because it looks very inviting. After sitting in conference all day, a nice hot tub, that sounds good. Here's the building attached to the hotel. This is where our conference is this week. Still, and we'll uh, go inside this area with the turret right here. It's really pretty on the inside. It's all wood roofed and uh, got a lot of natural light flooding into it. It's really pretty, but this is the area where the conference is. Not too shabby. Nice place to have a conference. You know, out here by the pool, enjoying the sunset, had a good meal. It's, uh, I mean, this is fun. I'm having a good time doing this. But on the other hand, there's, there's a sadness that kind of goes along with it because my wife's not here with me. If this had been two weeks later, um, she would have come out with me, but uh, she works at school and uh, we're right at the end of uh, the school year. There's no way she was getting off for days for coming out here with me um, at the end of the school year. So unfortunately, I'm on my own on this one. Having some fun, but stas stad? sad that she's not here with me. So Shell, 
maybe next time we'll have to do this our, some maybe sometime we'll have to do this uh, ourselves though I don't see us coming down to Orlando and not going to Disney World and staying at a Disney World resort but still this one's pretty cool So I've said before that uh, from C CSI TV show, we got uh, a thing where the last room in an aisle, the one next to the stairs, it's called the murder room because it's easy to kill somebody and then get off, go down the stairs without being seen. And I always seem to get that uh, room. Here's the end of the hall going that direction. There's the end of the hall going that direction, so I'm nowhere near the end. But here's my room. 6312. And if I just spin right around, there's the stairs. So I'm still next to the stairs. That's just too funny. This is the front of the hotel. Kind of an imposing structure from here in the front, but uh, this was a great place to have a conference. The conference facilities were really nice. Uh, it's it's more of a, of a resort than a hotel and uh, conference center. Uh, multiple pools. It's it's just a really nice place. I tell you, Indianapolis is going to have a hard time following this. They've kind of set the bar here. This is the uh, rotunda that I showed from outside. Go up to the windows here. Wood ceiling, and the cupola. It's really pretty. Really well done. And then down the stairs are the conference areas. Okay, so getting ready to leave Orlando, head back home. We're going to do a final check of our room, make sure we got everything. Uh, and we're not leaving anything behind. So nothing on the desk, except the stuff that they put there. Nothing on the chair, bed stand, again the stuff they put there. I've left nothing on the bed. The other nightstand, nothing in here, nothing on top, and I never put anything in the drawer so I know there's nothing in there. Hey! Uh, the only thing I put in the closet was the shirts that I was wearing, so we got nothing in there. Nope. Bathroom's clear, got my toothbrush and everything. I got nothing here. Oh, here's a tip. This is the tip for this week. Last week it was don't rush. This week it's 
be kind to your maid. Now you notice my room. I mean, yeah, they're going to have to make the, well, probably change, I'd hope they change the sheets, make the bed. Uh, and, uh, you know, clean the, clean the bathroom and the sink area. But notice, I don't leave it trashed. All my trash is in the trash can. All my used towels are piled up in the, in the tub. You know, I don't have stuff, I don't trash the room. Don't trash your room, okay? The maids are not there to pick up your dorm room, okay? They're there to put the room back into shape and clean it up. And, you know, so be nice to them. they got a tough job. Um, and, you know, leave them a few dollars a day uh, for their trouble. So, be a nice traveler. Well, getting time to leave. I'm going to catch the shuttle back to the airport. Time to leave the uh, Rosen Creek here. Um, tell you what, this hotel, perfect venue. Perfect venue for a conference. It's also be a good place to come if you're going to like Universal Studios or SeaWorld or something like that. It's, it's a great hotel. The staff are incredibly friendly. Um, somebody from Rosen Shingle Creek is watching this. The, one of the best employees you have is Robert uh, down in the um, fast food kitchen down uh, next to your, uh, uh, your little shop downstairs. He went out of his way, I think Wednesday night, uh, to convince me of what, uh, that I shouldn't eat fast food, that I should go to the buffet. It was much better. He walked me over there, showed me where it was, uh, showed me what they had, uh, told me some things about the hotel that I didn't know. Excellent employee, excellent employee. But everybody here has been incredibly friendly. Um, uh, great pools, everything. It's just, just a really nice place. Um, so, time to get on the road. So, let's see, do I have a song for Orlando? Orlando. Uh, oh, M I C. See you real soon. K E Y. Why? Because we like you. M O U S E. And I think you know the rest of the words to that song. See you, Orlando. It's been fun. Bye. Back home again in Indiana, and it seems to me the gleaming candlelight still shining bright through the sycamores for me. The new moon hay sends all its fragrance from the fields I like to roam. When I dream about the moonlight on the Wabash, then I long for my Indiana home. Yeah, back home again. Oh, it's been a long several weeks of travel. I'm home all next week. It's good. It's good to be back home again. And yet, that's another song. Maybe we'll sing that next time.